Hi there, Doug Coots here, Executive Director for South Woodby Parks and Recreation District. This video is information on the South Woodby Parks and Recreation District Maintenance and Operations Levy that is on the ballot for February 8th, 2022. Let's get started. So, some basic levy information. South Woodby Parks and Recreation District is a junior taxing district. So we receive tax revenue based on the assessed value of the homes within the boundaries of our district. Our, our district boundaries are the same boundaries as South Woodby School District. So if you're in South Woodby Schools, uh, you are most likely in South Woodby Parks and Recreation District. As a Parks and Recreation District, uh, we are limited by statute to only levy upon approval of the taxpayers for up to six years. For maintenance and operations, it's the same thing. We do not have an ongoing rolling levy that rolls over year to year to year. This is a what we have to run the parks. How do we differ from other taxing entities? Well, the big difference, uh, the initial levy rate uh, is always approved by the taxpayers for everyone, for city schools, ports, the same for park districts. After the initial levy rate, uh, for whatever the term of the levy is, it, it can only go up by 1% or the implicit price deflator, whichever is less. Uh, the, difference, uh, the difference that we have is that we are also can go down based on the approved rate. So if, for example, uh, assessed values drop significantly, um, our levy would drop as well because we would also be based, based on the approved rate. And that would mean that if the levy, if the assessed values dropped, um, the amount that we would collect would drop as well. So if the assessed values go down, our amount can decrease. City schools, ports, the amount received remains constant regardless of the assessed value of homes in the district or within the boundaries. That's the difference there. What is this levy? Uh, so on the February ballot, February 8th, 2022, registered South would be voters are being asked to consider to continue funding the park system for four years beginning in 2023. So 2023 through 2026. This levy is a replacement of the expiring maintenance and operations levy, which, which runs out at the end of 2022. Uh, so this would replace our current levy. The levy rate that is proposed on the ballot for 2023 would be 22 cents per thousand of assessed value. This is a two cent increase over the 2019 approved levy rate. So what will you see on the ballot? You will see this. For maintenance and operation of its parks and recreation facilities and programs, shall the South would be Parks and Recreation District be authorized to impose regular property tax levies of 22 cents or less per thousand of assessed valuation for four years commencing in 2022 for collection in the years 2023 through 2026, all is provided in district resolution and it gives you the resolution number that the district board of commissioners voted to approve putting this levy on the ballot. And then the response options of yes or no. What will this levy fund? Well, a yes vote uh, approves the parks and recreation districts maintenance and operation funding. This will keep the parks funded and open through 2026. What does this include? Well, it includes community park. Uh, community park on Max Walton Road has baseball fields, baseball softball fields, playgrounds, has open field space, it has trails, uh, there's parking areas. Um, we are also in the process of, uh, of site plan review on the campground uh, that we had grant monies to purchase the 35 acres uh, to put a campground on. So we are currently working on adding that campground in. That is not, uh, campground construction is not part of this levy. Um, we are working on that. We have separate funds for that. Uh, what else does it include? The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Lake Access Sites are maintained by the park district. So we cut the grass, clean the bathrooms, pick up trash at Deer Lake, Lone Lake, and Goss Lake public access sites so the launch sites at those three lakes not the lakes themselves are we we are responsible for just the cleaning and, and maintenance uh trustland trails a 200 acre site with trails on it uh, on craw road just off of highway 525 um, the sports complex on langley road which has open field areas for soccer uh ultimate frisbee 
uh, football, uh, all have been played up there. Um, and then Max Walton Trails Park, the latest acquisition uh, for the Parks District was 40 acres behind the elementary school, uh, the primary school, and that was acquired last year. Uh, we are currently in site plan uh, review for uh, the access trail, which would access that uh, trail system behind the, the school district uh, property there, and that would be right off of Max Walton Road. Um, the other things that it helps fund are all the recreational programs the district offers, which include youth athletics, adult sport leagues, arts and crafts, dog training programs, and many, many others. Uh, what else will this do? Uh, well, we'll it, it, we have a, a lot of items that have been deferred over the past few years, uh, deferred maintenance, roof replacements. We have an elevator that we need to replace. We have bathrooms that are in desperate need of, of re refining and refer revitalization. Parking areas and asphalting that needs to be done. Maintenance of other existing infrastructure. These are, these are items that should be done within our operational budget, and we have not had the funding to do that. So uh, these deferred items will be, will be targeted, and over time, uh, over the course of this levy, we'll start to take, tick some of those off the list. Um, so this shows kind of what properties we're talking about. Right here, you can see Community Park and the Sports Complex uh, on Max Walton Road and Langley Road. Right over here, just behind the primary and elementary schools, not shown by a star, is uh, the Max Walton Trails Park, 40 acres. Uh, you have the Deer Lake, Lone Lake, and Goss Lake public access launch sites that are owned by the WDFW but maintained by the Park District. And you have Trussland Trails, 200 acres of uh, trail system there. Those are all the sites that I've just spoken about and where they are located. What does this mean to the homeowner? Well, let's look at this. Um, the, the levy rate that is proposed on the ballot is 22 cents per thousand of assessed value. So let's take a, uh, uh, an example, $450,000 assessed value home. So your home is assessed at $450,000. How do we calculate what the number for the annual levy would be assessed to your property would be? We take the 450,000, it's per thousand of assessed value. So we divide that by a thousand, that gives us 450. We multiply that by 0.22 for 22 cents and a $450,000 assessed home based on this levy rate would be assessed $99 in 2023. That, if you take that rate and look at that and go, okay, well, you know, you said it was a two cent increase over the 2019 rate. What's the difference? Well, if you take this number and just take the right half of it, uh, the right column, that $9 is the difference. So a 20 cent levy on $450,000 home would be $90. A 22 cent levy is $99. The two cents equates to $9 annually. This is annual, not monthly, annual. Uh, and then each year for the term of the levy, the assessment can go up by 1% or the implicit price deflator. Or if the assessed values drop significantly, the assessment could go down. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our offices for more information. The phone number is right there, 360-221-5484. Staff can try to answer, or if they don't know, they can refer the matter to me, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Please feel free to call, and make sure to vote.